I'm begging you. And I'm telling you, I don't have. And I'm telling you, I don't have five thousand dollars to pay for a lawyer. I'm going to do it myself. This absolutely blows my mind. Talk about getting your priorities totally wrong. Since Gino quit his job and Jasmine joined him in the States, they've likely spent tens of thousands of dollars on their wedding. I'm talking a second wedding dress fund, a fancy venue, expensive rings. And it's a diamond, a real one. I even tested. And now, after all of that, after splashing the cash, now the well has run dry. They can't even afford to hire a professional to help bring Jasmine's kids to the country. Yeah, these guys are f***ing idiots, both of them. I wish I have never met you. I want to get divorced from you. I don't want to yeah. be married to you. And I'm going f***ing back to Panama. Now, before we get to the arguments, the name calling, the threats of divorce and the tears, let's just rewind back to the start. So we left the pair after they found out some pretty shocking news. Because of a small error on the K-1 paperwork, paperwork that Gino did himself to save money, they've now learned that it might take up to two years for Jasmine to bring her kids to the States. Since Gino didn't include my children's name on my K-1 visa process, it might take two years to bring them to America and I cannot even think about it. Jasmine was under the impression it would take maybe six months. So this news has come as a huge shock to her. In fact, she's so shocked, she doesn't even have the capacity to be angry with Gino, as you might expect. At least, not yet. But, <laughs> as we all know, that has to be coming, right? I mean, this is Gino's fault. He's the one that messed up the paperwork so badly, right? Are you doing okay? Gino, what a remarkably stupid thing to ask. His tone is so annoying. It's as if he's trying to pretend that everything's okay. Like, Jasmine's entire life has just changed with the news that she received. Two years might be too long to leave her kids on their own. Like, this literally changes whether or not Jasmine's even gonna stay in the States. And right now, she's under no illusions as to who's to blame. It could have been avoided if we have had, you know, an attorney advising us. Like, you omitting my kid's name just for us. Now, it is a little cruel to put all of the blame on Gino. Like, I'm certain he's feeling terrible about his mistake already. But Jasmine's point is they need a lawyer. They need a professional to help them with this. That's the professional's job, after all. She understandably wants to avoid a situation where another small error might delay the process even longer. Jasmine just wants to make sure that Gino understands this. You are not a lawyer, and that's the part I mean. that uh, that's the part that I want you to understand. You know, you could have good intentions. You 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 screw my life. I don't know what it is, but Gino seems to have a real thing against lawyers. Like, just as before, he flat out refuses to hire one again. It's really strange. Gino always chooses the oddest moments to dig his heels in. He gets so stubborn about the strangest things. Remember the potato peeler incident? Like, it's happening again. But this time, the consequences are so much more serious. I busted my ass to get you to this country. Don't sit there and criticize me for all the hard work I'm that I've done. I'm not criticizing you. And it's not that we're talking about a fortune, you know. Sorry, but Gino did mess up the paperwork. Criticism should be expected. Like, keep in mind, it was his choice to bust his ass. They could have hired a lawyer to do it last time too, but Gino's pride got in the way. It seems to be some kind of ego thing for him. He seems determined to prove that a lawyer with years and years of training and experience is somehow no better than him. He can figure it out. Whether the lawyer does it or me, that two years that he's mentioned is not going to change. It's just 
such a bizarre stance. Like, does Gino really seriously think that his skills are on a par with a qualified professional? The lawyer was very clear. I mean, even common sense would dictate that someone who fills in these forms day in, day out will be able to do it quicker. We'll avoid mistakes. Costly mistakes. It would guarantee that things run smoothly and properly. But Gino just won't budge and Jasmine realises that she's losing this battle. So she reverts back to a tried and tested method. She turns on the waterworks. That normally does the trick. Please hire a lawyer, you know. But I'm not going to use the lawyer. I cannot take that risk. No. Look at what we just... I don't have money for a lawyer. Gino's been weirdly cold about this whole thing. He knows how much Jasmine wants her kids in the States. She's crying, she's begging him to hire a lawyer. It seems a totally valid request, but instead of having a little bit of empathy, instead of apologizing, instead of admitting that they need a lawyer and they just need to figure out how to pay for one, Gino instead becomes really callous. He gets really sharp and blunt in his responses. It's all a bit weird. When it comes to, to have my kids here with me, do you know, money means nothing. No. No, I'm not. I no. can't believe this I'm from you, it. you know. What, I'm gonna what? Now, maybe Gino's bluntness is a protection mechanism. Maybe by shutting down emotionally, he protects himself when Jasmine inevitably blows up. And we all know it's coming, right? But, but maybe there's another explanation for his cold behaviour too. Maybe this is because he truly feels guilty about what he's done. I feel bad about my mistake, but she's putting all the blame on me. Really, both of us are responsible. We made a mistake and it, and it cost us. He's right. They are both responsible for Jasmine's kids. Gino took responsibility for the paperwork, but what exactly is Jasmine doing to help bring her kids over? Is she contributing in any way? Dare I bring up old drama, but that butt implant money sure would have been useful right about now. But instead, Jasmine chooses to blame Gino. And right now, she's getting really pissed off with his attitude. What kind of, what kind of evil person you are? No, I'm not evil. I'm not evil at all. Do you I've been me? busting my ass to get you to this country. These two are as bad as each other. Like, Jasmine is way out of line for calling Gino evil, and Gino is way out of line for constantly bringing up that he brought her to this country. Does he expect her to be forever grateful towards him for taking her away from her kids and putting her in Michigan or something? Like, it's just not a fact that you can keep throwing in her face during an argument, Gino. I get no appreciation for what I've done. So what do you that want me, me what do you want me to do? To make a study of you because you brought me here. No, but all I get is a lot of bull Yikes. Gino, reel it in, buddy. I mean, Jasmine has just found out that she won't see her kids for two years. She's allowed a moment of bull as you call it. Now, a minute ago, I theorised that maybe Gino was shutting down emotionally as a protective mechanism. But now I also have another theory. Could it be that he's acting this cold because he's pissed off that Jasmine's not grateful for the work he busted his ass to do? But the thing is, Gino, Jasmine's well and truly past feeling grateful. I'm begging you. Yeah, and I'm you. telling you, I'm I don't have... You. I'm and begging you. And I'm telling you, I don't have five thousand dollars to pay for a lawyer. I'm going to do it myself. I don't know how much of that is true and how much of that is Gino just being stubborn. After all, we can't ignore the fact that he chose to do it last time when clearly he did have money. But putting all suspicions aside, let's just take him on face value. If he really doesn't have the money, then first off, go and get a job, Gino. But secondly, what's Jasmine doing to help? Like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Her butt, her boobs, all of her surgeries could have paid for this. If her kids were that much of a priority and her plan was always to bring them over, it seems very irresponsible that she hasn't set aside any money to help. But tragically, despite this, as always, Jasmine isn't willing to take accountability. Instead of accepting that, yes, this does make her a bad mum, she's instead concluded that it makes Gino a bad dad. 
You, you are absolutely not ready to be a father. You don't give a about oh, me. Oh. All you care is about oh, you I... and you being okay and you screwed up in your dumb head. Now, don't get me wrong, I obviously don't condone that anyone speaks to their partner in this way. But when you consider some of the terrible comebacks that Gino's churned out in the past, this is right up there as one of his better ones. I can't help it. I, I feel a little bit proud that he spat that out on the spot without stumbling over his words. But clearly, Jasmine isn't used to being spoken to in that way. <laughs> Well, what an ass. No, you're the ass. I wish I have never met you. You ruined my Here we have prime Jasmine logic. She's allowed to call Gino evil. She's allowed to say that he's not ready to be a father. But the minute he defends himself, suddenly he's the bad guy. Suddenly, she's the victim. Now that they've established that they're not going to get a lawyer, and even though they clearly should be getting one, Jasmine just resorts back to her usual threats. I want to get divorced from you. I don't want to yeah. be married to you. And I'm going back to Panama. I'm just so, you will never make me happy. Yeah. I'm not a priority in your life. Now, in her mind, Gino not willing to budge on this matter, not being able to pay for a lawyer, is a reflection of how he feels about her. But the thing is, Jasmine really needs to learn how to interpret Gino better. The guy is willing to slave away over paperwork for hours and hours on end. Like, that's got to mean something. Like it or not, that is Gino's love language. That is a declaration of love. He wouldn't do it if he didn't care. And finally, Jasmine is willing to take some accountability. You should myself. have been just as involved to bring I'm your kids myself. to the United States. Yes, yes, I'm blaming myself. It's my fault. It's my fault. Gino's a hundred percent right here. Like, Jasmine has no leg to stand on. She has no right to blame others when she had absolutely no involvement in the process in the first place. She should have taken more of an active interest. It was her kids on the line after all. Like, while Gino was working hard on that original paperwork, all right, he may have messed up, he may have made a mistake, but who was the one sitting in Panama demanding thousands of dollars for hair extensions, nails, rent for her luxury apartment? So yeah, remind me, who's the bad parent again? For her to say I'm not cut out to be a father because I want to do this myself and I don't have $5,000 to give to a lawyer right now, I have a problem with that. That comment seemed to really affect Gino. We know how desperately he wants to be a dad, and it seems like Jasmine knew exactly what to say to inflict the maximum emotional damage. Her theatrics might not have hurt him, but that really has. Gino silently gets up and walks straight out of the restaurant. He leaves his wife sat there all alone, crying, cursing him. Jiru's not a good husband to be, and he's not gonna be a good dad. I don't wanna have kids with him anymore. Probably for the best, Jasmine. It's probably time that you worried about your existing kids first. So, with reality now hitting her square in the face, with the prospect of being separated from her kids for two years, we're now about to see just how seriously Jasmine takes her parental responsibilities.